This video is intended to show how to set up the Nucleus control surface with Ableton Live and to suggest a few tips and tricks with it. For a roundup of the features of Nucleus, please watch our product tour on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash SSL videos. Nucleus is a complete solution for the hardcore in the box producer, someone whose world is centered around multiple projects, recall, fast workflow, and creative inspiration. It has all of the tools you need to turn your computer into a hands-on mixing machine without letting technology get in the way of ideas. Simply add a laptop for a fully mobile SSL rig. Once you've installed IP MIDI on your computer, you must configure it to allow multiple ports. Open the audio MIDI setup, and from the window menu, select Show MIDI window. In your configuration, you'll find IP MIDI. Double click the icon, and increase the settings so the number of ports is 6, and press Apply. The next step is to configure your network settings. Open the Apple System Preferences and select Network. Choose Ethernet from the selection of devices and if you're using an Ethernet switch or router, configure IPv4 to Using DHCP. If the Nucleus is connected directly to your computer, configure IPv4 to Manually from the drop-down menu. Set your IP address to 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one and your subnet mask to two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and press apply. You must also ensure that your airport is turned off. Ensure your nucleus is connected to your computer with a standard Ethernet cable and open the Nucleus remote. If it doesn't automatically find your device, press the magnifying glass and click Find. Check the select box against the unit you wish to use and then press Close. The status at the bottom of the Nucleus remote window should now display Online in green and the serial number of your unit. Select the DAW layer of Nucleus you wish to edit and via the profile setup choose the desired profile from the drop down menu. Nucleus will then reboot. Nucleus can be set up to control three different pieces of software simultaneously. MIDI control for the three layers is split across the six IP MIDI ports which means that your DAW must be configured to match the following. To control software with DAW layer 1 of the Nucleus, the application will need to be set to IP MIDI ports 1 and 2. To control software on DAW layer 2, the application will need to be set to IP MIDI ports 3 and 4. And with DAW layer 3, it needs to be set to ports 5 and 6. To set Nucleus as your controller in Ableton Live, go to the Live menu and select Preferences. Choose the MIDI Sync tab. In the Control Surface section, select Mackey Control in slot 1 and configure the input and output ports. In this case, ports 5 and 6 because I'm using layer 3 of the Nucleus. In the Control Surface section, select Mackie Control XT in slot 2 and set the input and output ports to the corresponding DAW layer. Within the same menu, click on the Audio tab and choose Solid State Nucleus as your audio input and output device. You're now set up and ready to go. The Nucleus Ableton default template offers a series of quick soft keys to access the most commonly used functions in Ableton. 
These differ from Logic and Pro Tools, so I've made my own label and have labelled them left to right, page left, page right, device, pan, send, IO and returns. Each track inside your session will be displayed across the faders of the nucleus. And when a session has more than 16 channels, you can use the channel button to move between tracks one by one, or 16 at a time by pressing bank. To control pans, press the pan soft key. The pan value of each track is now displayed on the scribble strips and can be changed by turning the V-pot. To control sends, press the send soft key. Select a track using the track select buttons and the V-pots will control all the send levels of the selected track. By turning the V-pot you can set the amount of signal being sent to that bus from the channel and a useful feature when automating sends is to flip the status of the V-pot onto the fader. You can now control your sends using the faders. To access and control devices and plugins, press the device soft key. The scribble strip will display a list of all plugins and devices inserted on the currently selected track. To select a plugin or device for control, press the corresponding V-pot. The parameter names are displayed above each V-pot and turning them changes their values. Like with the sends, you can press the flip button and control the parameters using the faders rather than V-pots. When a plugin has more than 16 parameters, you can use the page left and page right buttons to scroll through the various pages of the plugin. To select clips, use the arrow keys in the center section and using the center button, you can trigger your clips. Once you've selected a clip, you can perform common editing functions by pressing the user layer one button and selecting the edit soft key. This will open a sub-menu where you can cut, copy, paste and duplicate clips, as well as toggling the stop button in empty clips. Use the jog wheel to select scenes and trigger them with the jog wheel toggle button. To customise the Ableton screen view, Press the user layer 1 button again and open the Views soft key. This will open a sub-menu where you can toggle the mixer, the session overview, inputs, outputs, sends, returns, detail and info windows on and off. To load devices and plugins, the Nucleus can control the Ableton browser. Select User Layer 1 and the Browse soft key. This will open a sub-menu. Use Alt Left and Alt Up to highlight the browser window and make it active. You can now use the Up, Down, Left, Right buttons to control and load the navigation browser file tree. Once you've selected an item you want, Press the Enter soft key and the device plugin will be loaded onto the selected channel. Nucleus offers a whole world of options for customising your workflow with Ableton Live. Using the 156 available shortcut keys, you can define your own approach, taking the emphasis away from your mouse and placing it firmly back on music creation. We hope that this video has inspired you to re-examine your own way of working and that it has helped to illustrate how Nucleus helps you to work faster and sound better.